Bah! Oh yeah, cause they gotta get in them With boxes. I gotta watch that shit again. For educational purposes. <laughs> yeah! Got that motherfucker right open. So, and that's all you need. That's the box with, with the tug, money. They Insanity. Niggas hating cause they bragging. We ain't going for none of that. One call and that's that. All the bogus here, cat. Deli sandwich got a rap. Chop a shit, I love a jack. Keep it lit like Hank's jack. Any nigga take a shot. We gon' sit on the back. Man, what it is, what it do, Ski. You know, hold on. Let me get, let me, let me get right. I'm throwing the video on and shit, but. <coughs> You already know what it is, what it do, man. This shit got Holla McFly, and we in the motherfucking building, you feel me? Ho oh, wait, hold on. What the? There we go, you feel me? Gotta make sure my shit working, you dig? And I can't, can't find the lighter that I want to use. I think it's in my little pouch, but... What's cracking with y'all, man? Light it up if you got it, you feel me? You know what I mean? Ants, I gotta respond. I'm, I'm, I'm a... Got a lot of shit going on, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and splash that motherfucking like button, man. If you get money, go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? If you feeling some type of way, man. Accusations. Stop with the accusations, you feel me? False accusations. And let's just. And let's just get to it, you feel me? I just hope it's good. That's all. Oh, we are already starting off hot. <coughs> A guy with a weapon walks into a Dope. grocery store. He heads straight to the cashier oh, and he scares wasn't. an old man there, using his weapon to make him give him all the money. He wasn't playing no games. He said, let me get that. The cashier gives in, and the guy takes the money. But as he tries to leave, he has trouble with the glass door. It's stuck. He locked it, nigga. And then he locked that motherfucker. It's over now. Now you really fuck the money. Without getting bothered, he just smashes through the glass door with a hard push and quickly runs away. And then drops the drops the Late money on dummy. A bunch of robbers show up with a plan. They break the glass door and use a tow rope tied to a truck to get. <coughs> now that's too much. That's too many splits. If you were in, 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 in two of the homies, so three, four niggas max. One, two, three. Somebody telling. Somebody get caught. Somebody telling. There's too many niggas on this lit gang. Uh, I'll, I'll, the truck gives the door a hard push, breaking it and letting the listen, robbers do their thing. There's too many the niggas on a lit gang. Planning. It's a scary scene that shows the length some will go for illegal gains. You got there right. In a daring and swift move, it's rough out here. Burglars set their sights on North Reading Motorsports, using a U-Haul as their battering ram to crash through the front. Quickly storming in, the thieves bypass locked bikes making off with five dirt bikes and causing significant <coughs> financial losses for the dealership. You know, they come in with a vengeance. They knew exactly what they were going after. And somebody like these six thugs that broke into my dealership took away my income, took away my payroll for my employees. No, they didn't. Um, becomes very frustrating. You got insurance, nigga. Despite a nigga. fast police response and a high-speed chase, the criminals managed to escape. I, I don't advocate for, for, for certain shit like Lawrence this, right? Like, you stealing dirt bikes and from... Uh, go after where shit's in short. Banks, you know, banks, you know, you know what I'm saying? Banks, shit like that. Well, you know, like the fraud shit, you know what I mean? Shit people could get back in what insurance. Now, I'm pretty sure they got insurance and shit on these bikes and whatnot, too. But it's like, what you gonna sell them bikes? You probably gonna ride that bike, bro. You all did all that shit to go ride some bikes. Unless y'all about to go steal them motherfuckers. Like, bike I mean, unless you about to go this sell them motherfuckers right now. 128 in Beverly earlier, suggesting a disturbing trend. Somebody's gonna get hurt. We need to stop this before somebody gets hurt. With the area dealing with previous burglaries and illegal dirt bike issues, dealerships hope for swift law enforcement action to catch those responsible for this heinous act. In a really weird situation in Ipswich, a 41-year-old guy went on a strange crime spree. I'm going after he ATMs. He stole a big machine called a front-end loader and used it to break into a motorcycle shop, grabbing two bikes. I mean, I, I all right, still in a car or a bike, I guess, depending on how much you could get. If you ain't getting no more than, like, 20, 30, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you you coming up short most of the time, bro. This type of shit. You definitely coming up short. So. God damn. Oh wow. Oh this nigga nigga hooked the did I miss did the nigga hook the bikes up? Did I miss something? Buddy ass hooked them bikes up. I seen him hop his ass out. Oh yeah, the nigga hopped in, yoinked them bitches up. Oh yeah, he did that. It's whack, man. You cause a lot more damage and shit, but I, man, go after them ATN. I need the money, I need the money, monies. I fuck the merchandise. I get you can go this get rid of some shit, but man, fuck chase. that, bro. The guy ditched the stolen machine and tried to run on foot, but didn't get far. The police dog squad found him hiding in a creek and arrested him. He's in trouble for a bunch of things like breaking into places. Bro, you in the slow vehicle. Going to where be he in. shouldn't, using a stolen car, intentionally causing damage, messing with the police, and trying to run away from them. <coughs> this creepy video from Rincon Valley Yard and Amp Garden in Santa Rosa catches a bold nighttime robbery. A bunch of guys wearing masks, clearly knowing their stuff, go after the store in a super planned out way. When night comes, a U-Haul van shows up at Rincon Valley Yard and Amp Garden. These determined guys, all masked up, start <coughs> breaking the bottom of the glass door. Then, they step up their game, using a plasma cutter to get through the metal door right behind the glass. Showing off even more skills. Fuck you niggas they get a plasma the cutter smash from. the door and get inside, clearly knowing exactly what they're after. Yeah. Once in, they grab heavy equipment worth $15,000. Equipment again, nigga. Y'all still in equipment. Y'all better either be going to make money with this shit or y'all y'all selling that shit. I look like y'all about to go start y'all own lawn service real quick though. Now, if y'all go hit a Lowe's or a Home Depot, something like that, y'all go get y'all shit. Y'all about to start a goddamn me business. Y'all about to Alright, y'all about to go make some money off these things y'all stole, but y'all niggas just stealing that shit for what? Y'all stole a lot of shit, gang. Check this out. Some crazy stuff went down at Ramadan Jewelry Company, and it's all caught on tape. Or a jewelry in the dead store. of night at 4:30 a.m., who you gonna, lift, who you gonna sell these shits to, nigga? This is not a movie. Who are, <laughs> niggas be stealing shit like they got? Man, listen. You, you, when you in that underworld, hats and masks. Because this, this ain't this ain't. Uh, they knew what Ocean's they were doing. Ocean's twelve, nigga. Lifting the gates, hiding from the cameras, and breaking through the glass door like pros. Dressed in construction vests and those safari hats, they rush in and clean out the store, grabbing loads of gold jewelry, especially the fancy heavy stuff. This seemed they a little took more. All my rings, and then they took everything that was in here. It was heavier sets. Yeah, this bitch, I'm taking everything. Alone. Taking all that shit. Total. But a whopping 1.5 million dollars. Now that's the a score. And they did. And notice, notice. The sloppier the job, the less amount of money. More than likely, like it was, it was not thought out, not really planned. These niggas hit the big one, right? And and it was damn near, it was kind of sophisticated. Yeah, we had to break some glass or whatever, but like nigga, they did it. Neighbors movie got style. curious when they heard the alarm, thinking maybe it was just a moving truck. We feel violated. They came to our home. And they stole our goods, this hard-earned money. The entire it's, neighborhood it's heard the sirens, the alarm, and everybody came out to see. They saw a U-Haul truck and people wearing normal clothes, so they expected that people were moving. There should be a police car over here or walking the way they do on Main Street mm -hmm. all the time. We don't go out on walks at night anymore because it's scary. Unfortunately, even with the video, the police had a hard time getting enough proof. 
This whole crazy incident is a big reminder for businesses to lock up their valuables, especially when the night falls. Yeah, you don't want to put no shit, keep no shit. A man in a pink t-shirt stole a watch valued at $50,000 from Mayers, located at Lenox Mall. He entered the store casually and pretended to be interested in trying on a watch. While wearing it, one of the salespersons suspected something was wrong. She quickly escorted the man to the monitoring room, equipped with surveillance cameras. The man returned the watch to the lady in the monitoring room, but went back to take another watch to try on. As the salesperson stood behind the display case, the man rushed out of the store with a watch worth $50,000. He put it on and returned it twice, seemingly to gain trust, but the third time it was a mad dash. You won't believe this video from an Alameda supermarket. Wait, Three that shit is rushed out of the store. Hair. As the salesperson stood behind the display case, the man rushed out of the store with a watch worth $50,000. He put it on and returned it twice, seemingly to gain trust, but the third time it was a mad dash. You won't believe this video from an Alameda supermarket. Three people go all out shamelessly grabbing stuff off the shelves and loading up their bags. They're not afraid at all, even with people watching and someone recording their bad What are y'all stealing? Their boldness causes chaos in the store, messing up be the, the usual way things the... run. I don't care. I mean... That shit fell on that bitch head. Oh man, see it's like this. What are y'all stealing from Walgreens? My black people. This the shit that be it be pissing me off. It be making me this type of shit be making me sad. Why? Why? What are we doing for this? What are we getting away with? What the fuck y'all going to go do moisturize, bitch? What? There's nothing other than the money in the safe for you to get out of Walgreens. What are you selling? Plan B's? What are you selling? COVID rapid tests like bitch. What the what? What? What could it be at the Walgreens game? This nigga, he Hi, call nine one one. I really wanna know. Nigga, you call nine one one. Hang up and call him instead of filming it. And if that was the case, we wouldn't have this video. But you know, like come on, man. And they know they can't touch them, chase them. Again, shit is insured. A company like Walgreens, y'all not going under. They not closing that Walgreens down because of. Is it? Is any of this right? I'm going to say no. But what I am going to say is, you don't know everybody's circumstances. Sometimes it's like people last straw, man. I don't give a fuck. Maybe they got a job and it ain't giving enough money. You never know what anybody's circumstances is, what they last straw is. So it's kind of just like, I mean, it's fucked up. Y'all, what? Still in makeup? They in there too. I don't want none of this shit. If you pulled up on me, I don't want any of none of the stuff you got in the bag. Dropping shit. It's like they don't care about what might happen to them, showing just how gutsy they are. Bitch, zip your pants. They don't care about what the might bitch, happen to them. The bitch, she don't care. Showing the bitch didn't even have her motherfucking zipper zipped. They don't lotion, hella lotion of the same kind. Why? So they don't have to buy this shit no more. You're not selling just that how shit, gutsy bro. they are. I'm not buying this shit from you. This video catches a bold nighttime robbery. A bunch of guys wearing masks go after the store in a super planned out way. When night comes, a U-Haul van shows up. These determined guys, all masked up, start by breaking the bottom of the glass door. Then 
they step up their game, using a plasma cutter to get through the metal door right behind the glass. Plasma. Showing off even more skills, they use the van to smash the door and get inside, clearly knowing exactly what they're after. Niggas ain't playing. Oh, nigga, he, they didn't even, what? To smash the door and get inside. Nigga, he put the exactly thing on there. Oh, he put the pole in the shit and the band after. came up on it with the little nudge, with the little thing for it. Right there. That, so it wasn't even like they ramming nothing. They, they just using the fort. Man, what? That's what I'm talking about. <coughs> if you're going to do it, do it. These niggas ain't getting caught. Oh, these look like the same motherfuckers. Okay, these are the same niggas that went and took all the, all the, uh, lawnmower, lawnmower in, shit. They grab heavy equipment worth fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, we already this seen well this. Well thought one. out theft isn't just about the money lost. It also shows how good these guys are at pulling off their not so legal activities. It was just from the other angle we saw. At Northridge it. Mall. It's total chaos as thieves pull off a smash and grab inside Macy's. <sighs> These bold crooks, all set for a quick escape, load up trash bags with stuff like it's nothing. Meanwhile, some brave shoppers are hot on their heels, trying to stop their daring getaway. I'm not doing that this shit, This wild man. video really hits home the reality of crime happening right in our minds. I'm not trying the to stop Macy's nothing like that. Deal makes it clear. We need better Turn around, security. get your ass. Everyone, Boo! shoppers, and businesses alike, <laughs> safe and sound. Like, yo, in a that. troubling incident caught on video, burglars carried out a smash and grab theft at Valiani Jewelers. This group of culprits stole valuable and substantial items, causing a substantial loss for the business. I want the money. It's nuts. You see that on the news? Like, all oh, this? Bro, I might, if you're going to do this type of shit, you might as well go for the cash. Because everything is motherfucking bag and tag. Even the money. So it's like, nigga, at least you can Valiani Jewelers? run up the money in the streets. Valiani? What are you going to do? Second. What are you going to do with this? Say you got, you stole something where that's had a price tag of, of 30K. You're, you're not getting 30K for that shit bro you're not so the fact that you might only get hey man this hit 30k man give me two give me give me a thousand give me what get, nigga you guys are gonna take those the shittiest end of the deal when trying to uh trying to resell this bullshit bro unless you again unless these motherfuckers just going in there to get to get shit that they can wear maybe sell the rest of it bro like niggas be doing shit for dumbass reasons because it's like bro who you selling this to who do you know that's taking jewelry like this? You can't take it to no pawn shop or no shit like that. So it's like, niggas just be doing dumb shit, Go not even knowing. Pennies. Not even knowing. Witnessing individuals resorting to criminal Shit's activities wild. at the expense of someone I, who has worked hard to build their livelihood Christmas is true. Just this Christmas at the Ulta store. Uh, the one right there on uh uh Southgate. We at, we in line or at the register paying and shit. We I see a nigga walk uh one nigga walk out with a basket, and in my head I'm like oh shit, and then the next guy, and then the ladies come running. It's nothing but women working in that moment. I had to blick on me too, but I'm like nigga I'm protecting me and who I'm with, so it's not even I ain't worried about them niggas. You feel me? Like long as they don't come over here trying to rob me or the person I'm with. We not, we good. You know what I'm saying? Free to, free to move about the cabin type shit. But yeah, it's like, what do you do in that situation other than make sure you and your people straight? As long as you ain't take it from me and what? We still, in, people still in line purchasing their shit as they're getting, as they're stealing. Because it's not a robbery. Or, this is a robbery. You know what I'm saying? In Them niggas stole move, some shit. Thieves quickly stole from a jewelry store at Coral Ridge Mall. They pulled up, jumped Big out of their difference car, between a robbery and, went and being into the stole store, from all the showing a plan to grab things fast. The theft got scary as the thieves, armed with hammers, moved aggressively. And the then again, owner, what are you Nuri taking Hassan, from Alta? Recently stocked up. You just don't want to pay for some shit. You just trying to get your items even more. You just trying to get your gal and them a bunch of shit you ain't got. So I'm at risk going to steal all this Alta shit, just to be like, act like I spent a bunch of money at Alta for you, baby.
and then I ain't gotta buy nothing. Or valuable. The crooks broke display cases. Cause what are you doing? Grabbed everything they could. Seems like people been here. Cause I'm not uh. Know exactly what I have. Selling no so shit from Alta. And, and uh, merchandise. Where is the big item? Big haggy stuff. In the chaos, the owner fought back. Despite one robber claiming to have a weapon, the owner threw a chair to try to stop the robbery. One guy he said, "Have a gun. don't do anything. Just stay back." Then I took the chair. The first thing I tried to protect myself, that I didn't know they were gonna pull a gun on me or not. Then I threw the chair on him. The situation got worse as the thieves caused expensive damage, <coughs> knocking over shelves with valuable statues. In just 34 seconds, they raced to their getaway car parked at the mall's entrance. They not only took jewelry, but also left behind a lot of costly damage. It's like a blessing. It's the thing really. Yeah, you still got your life, gang. Okay. This theft shows that stores can be at risk, and it's important to have better security. Facts. In broad daylight, four masked men armed with a sledgehammer and crowbar targeted a South Broadway jewelry store. The co-owner's son resisted, causing the thieves to drop some loot. The jeweler grabbed the sledgehammer, resisted. confronting the thieves who fled in an SUV. A dramatic chase ensued, ending in a crash, with three robbers eventually captured. When he hit a few times, my son was here, he ran to the window. I say to me, the professionals, the kids doing that everywhere and they getting away with it. And Tony Montana, what? The professionals, the kids doing that everywhere. <coughs> this nigga's name, is that Tony Montana? I fuck around. I'm dyslexic. I read some shit and be not reading the shit. That shit says Tony Montana. Yo, that's fucking. That's crazy. That's insane. That's insane. Where and they getting away with it and thankfully the real Tony Montana together. ain't going for these none of that shit. People just come to make make a party over here. They don't, these people don't get scared for nobody. I heard this long screech, but I'm still I'm kind of laying down. And then all of a sudden, I hear more and more uh, sirens. The helicopters were going over till about eight o'clock at night. There was also an earlier report of these suspects uh, casing a, a jewelry store in another part of the city earlier the same day. How do you so know? So we, are, of course, going to look at everything to see what's connected. Despite stealing one hundred thousand dollars in jewelry, the incident highlights the boldness of criminal acts, emphasizing the ongoing need for increased security and vigilance. Some folks are caught on camera trying now this, to swipe an ATM from the Capitol. Listen, again, I'm not condoning anything that these motherfuckers is doing. But if a nigga has to go out or it's, it's, it's that bad, <coughs> catch me <coughs> or don't catch me doing this shit. You feel me? BLVD. That's the only shit. I'm not going to no jewelry store. I'm not, do, I'm not doing none of that. If it ain't a bank or a motherfucking ATM, count me out, bro. Let's don't even let's not even talk about it because I don't want to have to deal with people. You know what I'm saying? They used this an cool. old Ford F-250, but their plan flopped and they had to run away. Oh, what happened? There was a person who walked into a store just like any other customer. They casually grabbed a can from the shelf. But then, surprising everyone, dashed behind the counter and snatched the cash right from in front of the cashier. Ooh, this nigga got the knife on him. Yeah, you don't want to get stabbed. That nigga, man, listen. Yeah, you can have it, boy. Open that motherfucker game. Oh, this overseas somewhere. That's like, they got that color money. Swift as the wind, they made a speedy getaway. That motherfucker. In the Bay Area, some very bold thieves kept on robbing stores. They broke into credit jewelers in San Jose recently. Cameras caught them taking stuff from the cases, and they didn't even try to hide it. It's like they were daring anyone to stop them. Unfortunately, they managed to escape without getting caught. These robbers are really cheeky, smashing their way in and grabbing things in plain sight. The police are working hard to catch them the and put an end to their it. brazen crimes. There were some sneaky bandits who wore masks to hide their faces. They walked into a mobile phone store, all quiet-like, and then, like magic, they opened up the lockers where all the precious stuff was kept. Ooh, 
See now that's now that okay. You feel me? To hide but their faces. The shit is bag and tag. A mobile phone store, all quiet like, and then like magic, they opened up the lockers where all the precious stuff was kept. That's what you want to do. If you gonna do it, give me the phones. Y'all got some money back here. We out. Ski. But again, that shit is tagged, nigga. What are you gonna do? It's gotta be put in the system already, nigga. Somehow, some way, you're not getting away with this shit, bro. They managed so. to escape before anyone could catch them. In the yeah. big city of Boston, there was a mysterious robber causing trouble. This sneaky bandit was believed to be the mastermind behind nine daring robberies at seven different corner stores. From May 24th. How the fuck you get nine robberies for seven? Qu what? 2019 robber trouble. This sneaky bandit was believed to be the mastermind behind nine daring robberies at seven different corner stores. From May 24th, 2019 to August 26th, 2019. Hold up. Boston, there was a mysterious robber causing trouble. This sneaky bandit was believed to be the mastermind behind nine daring robberies at seven different corner stores. What the f- Am I stupid? Nine robberies at seven- Did he double back? You robbed this- You robbed one of the corner stores twice? From May 24th, 2019 to August 26th, 2019, this troublemaker struck fear or into shopkeepers' hearts. One that shit fucked day, me up. <laughs> I must be too high. That shit, nigga. How you rob? In Dedham, what? Massachusetts, wearing a mask to hide their identity, <coughs> the rogue boldly looted the store. How do you commit? How do you commit nine robberies at seven stores unless you went back? It's not it. Get the rest. Very complain, folks. I get some people wait all their lives to be the hero. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bust this motherfucker. But I'm not trying to be no hero. Sometimes you gotta just. Or be quicker, you know what I'm saying? Bang, you know what I'm saying? But like, is it worth it? He know it's not it. Where the rest? Nothing but it. Nothing but it. Church, I know what's here. Come on, please. Nothing but it. Nothing. No money. Scary situation, man. Don't like it. Take. No, you gonna take Please. some cigarettes and some some Why some nice. some uh some Why backwoods. Nothing. Please. Turn around. Get down. Where's your money? Where's the money? No, nothing. Yeah, I got it. Nothing. Nothing. It's a scary situation, man. That's why I don't want, want to deal with people, bro. I know. I know part of that thing. Okay. Turn around. Sorry, buddy. Turn around. I don't want to hurt. No, no. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Stay like that. Okay. Yeah, get out of the way of that gun, nigga. Look, hell yeah. So you gonna fucking shoot me, man? That nigga. Right. Sit, sit right here. Sit right here. Luck was on their side that day and they managed to escape before anyone could catch them. Crazy. The city held its breath, waiting for the day justice would finally catch up to this slippery crook. Well, I Two thought these niggas slippery, spent gang. hours in a Best Buy store, and it was all caught on camera. They broke in through the roof, 
making it look like they wanted to steal Christmas just before Black Friday. They swiped loads of valuable stuff like Apple gadgets and laptops. They had bolt cutters, they had drills, they had all the tools necessary to make entry into these. A lot of times burglars are in there, they're scurrying around, they're trying to get in and out, they're sloppy, they're missing things. Uh, they took their time. They were very comfortable. They were not concerned with being discovered by an alarm or by us. The police think they might come back, so they're on the case. Even though the is thieves it dark were masked in there? These niggas are sliding around. The police have some good clues to catch them before they strike again. But till then, they are free. Why are they sliding around? Imagine you walk into a store where they sell phones. The people who work there have been very worried lately because some robbers with masks have been coming in and taking things using weapons. In this video, you can even see two robbers with masks taking things from an AT&T store. <laughs> you don't say. 911, what's the city of your emergency? Strongville. We've got PD and route there. What's going on there? Uh, we just got robbed at point. They stole all our phones. They stole phones in the back. At first, they had us on the floor, and then they took us into the office, and they had us all laid down in the office. They took one of the guys into the inventory room to give them the phones. Okay. Okay, so you guys were locked in the office? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, we just got robbed. Okay, what happened? Uh, guys came in with two guns. They just told us to get on the ground. They just cleared out the whole entire safe. They took all the money. Okay. To we literally told us to get on the ground. We got on the ground. Uh -huh. and they like literally took us to the safe, and then they took us to the took one of the guys to the safe. They took all the money, took everything out, and took every single phone. And they have everything. Fortunately, the police have caught a bunch of the people who were doing these robberies. Crazy. In a Texan liquor store on February 12th, there's a video that might surprise you. The camera recorded a lady swiping not just one, but many tequila bottles. When the workers tried to stop her, there was a that. big tussle, and she and her partner managed to escape. Guy ain't got the, the liquor. Holding the door open, bitch, get the fuck off. That's crazy. On a dark and chilly Tuesday night in January 2019, at almost midnight, three sneaky folks tried to break into an ATM sneaky machine folks. on Fondren Road in Houston. Whoa. They bagged into that motherfucker. Was that so? Oh, no. They got two niggas. They got two people with them. They didn't manage to pull it off, so they had to make a quick escape. Crazy. In a fancy mall in Houston, some sneaky crooks pulled off a super fast robbery, taking loads of valuable jewelry. It seems like they've done this kind of thing before, and they didn't even try to hide while swiping all those shiny gems. I think they'd been in there before. I think they had a plan. They were in and out and knew exactly what they were doing and where they were going. And, believe it or not, they managed to escape. I mean, anybody you would think in a busy is part of London last not... October, Something pretty crazy went I'm down. I'm just going to go rob a place a I've never of been in. rammed a big, fancy Range Rover right into a fancy jewelry store in Shepherd's Bush. This all happened in broad daylight Damn. with lots of people staring in shock. So these three guys, they weren't messing around. They pulled out hammers and started Bow. smashing glass cabinets, grabbing Bow. all the sparkly jewels they could Bow. find, stuffing them into bags in their pockets like they were on a shopping spree. But here's the kicker. One of these guys got caught by brave folks from the crowd before the police came to the rescue. He got slapped with a 10-year jail sentence for owning up to robbery, dangerous driving, carrying a scary weapon, causing damage. <laughs> carrying a scary stuff. what? What? About a wide that nigga is lying like a motherfucker. What you mean a scary? What is a scary weapon? <laughs> What the fuck is a scary night, weapon, man? A whole gang of thieves stormed into a jewelry store in Concord. They boldly grabbed whatever shiny treasures they could find and then quickly escaped <coughs> with their loot. Yo, this nigga is killing me with his verbiage, bro. The what? Loot. Uh, Treasure the loot. I hope they got insurance. The exact value of the stolen items remains a secret. In Miami, there's a sneaky thief causing quite a stir. I'm done. He's not your ordinary crook. This guy has a taste for fancy wine and champagne. He's hit the same store three times, picking locks and sneaking away with expensive bottles. What? To make matters worse, he acts like a regular customer, 
buying some food, then dashing off with his loot when his card gets declined. But remember, the long arm of the law will catch up with him. Early on a Friday morning, a gang of car thieves struck the John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store in Lillington. The security this cameras recorded their like elaborate AI. scheme as they broke into 10 expensive cars around 4.30 a.m. one by one. They drove away with these high-end vehicles. John Heister, the store's owner, suspects these thieves are part of a larger car theft ring. So it happens so fast, so we're looking at a 15-minute window. If you look at the, all the camera angles, you know, them dropping them off in different parking lots and just they're running everywhere. It's almost like it was rehearsed. Similar incidents have occurred at other stores in Winston-Salem. I'm sure it was rehearsed. All possibly linked to the same group. You don't... The thieves seem to have researched you their targets online shit like and that, even bro, visited without. the dealership to scout the available cars. The stolen cars, including a Corvette convertible, a Durango SRT, and multiple Challengers, are valued at over $600,000. Several dealerships, including Brother Auto Sales in Raleigh, Hendrick Dodge in Cary, oh, this is and North Deacon Carolina. Jones in Goldsboro, have fallen victim to these criminals. Wow. Jeremy Stevens, the operations manager, described the thieves as athletic and quick, wearing hoodies. Just waiting for the guys to come out with the keys. The, the first truck they took is a TRX, and that's over a $90,000 car. Mm. Um, the Hellcats are over $90,000, so three, four cars were, were valued over $90,000. Yes, that's one of our brand new Challengers. He's leaving, and that's a used Corvette. We got some friends that's in Winston-Salem and Charlotte, and they had the same exact scenario. They effortlessly broke into the building, accessed the key locker, and fled with the cars in a matter of minutes, all captured within a 15-minute window on video. Damn. Local police are now using the vehicle's GPS systems to track down the culprits. The FBI and Greenwood Village Police need your help to catch three so people. So this one I seen, this is crazy. I don't know how long ago this video was put up, but this right, this shit right here? Caught on camera, robbing an armored truck parked outside a bank. Look at all that fucking money. And then the goddamn nigga, they did it right. They did it right. And I'm not even, like I said, I'm not condoning any of this Greenwood shit. Village police these niggas, the was, they was on it. That car shit the and FBI this shit. and Greenwood Village Police need your help to catch three people who were caught on camera robbing an armored truck parked outside a bank. These niggas need to be taken off these license plates. But if... Because if you're already doing bad shit, you're already doing bad shit. They pulled off the heist and got away with the loot. Got away with In the Houston, loot. the police said a guy got caught on camera swiping a shiny bracelet from a fancy jewelry store in Willowbrook Mall on January 7th, 2023. Damn, they gave this nigga the whole shit. A, a fancy store? Or fancy? Smancy? This nigga look broke as hell. Ooh, shorty got a wagon. Did she got a wagon? Did she come over there dragging a wagon? Did she come over dragging a wagon? It looked like she came over there. She got a little something in the bike. <laughs> then, like a speedy shadow, he dashed away into the unknown. Because he's black? Shut the fuck up. I don't like this nigga's narration. A speedy shadow? Shut up, man. I don't like the way you... I don't like the way you... Uh, uh huh. I don't like. I don't. Like, I don't like the way you narrate, my brother. Speedy shadow. Chains from that a nigga was shot. slow as hell. Then, like a speedy shadow, he dashed away into the unknown. Yoink! Give me that boy. Ah! A sneaky thief <laughs> swiped shiny gold chains from a jewelry shop in St. Pete. This nigga think he Dr. Seuss. A sneaky, sneaky something. Shiny, this nigga's always With trying to run. Move, he snatched the With chains and move. casually strolled out, looking like a pro. He about to go put them chains on. This daring heist. Did he wipe his hands? Stunned. Did he wipe his? He snatched the chains and. Ca With a smooth move, he snatched Ugh. the chains and casually strolled out, looking like a pro. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get that motherfucker right there. 
Hey, Annie did. <laughs> daring heist left everyone stunned. It wasn't a heist, bro. In April 2022, a sneaky thief visited Crank Revolution Bike Shop in Hawthorne. How many States, sneaky Illinois. thieves are there? This wasn't the first time. Many other bike shops in Northern Illinois. Oh, you're a cop, buddy. This wasn't the first time. Many other. Look at that, Terrence. <laughs> Other bike shops in Northern Illinois also suffered breaks. Nigga, that's Malik. Many Nigga, that's Malik. Other bike shops in Northern Illinois also suffered breakings. These niggas stealing bikes? Bro, if it's not the audacious the thief, simply wheeled away with the bikes, audacious? leaving everyone puzzled and concerned. Does that mean bold? In Fairburn, a scary incident unfolded at the AT&MT store on Sonoya Road. AT&MT? What the fuck did this nigga say? Concerned. In Fairburn, a scary incident unfolded at the AT&MT store on Sonoya Road. <laughs> Yo, Two I'm done with... Who is this? Bro, this has got to be AI. This can't be a person. Everyone puzzled and concerned. In Fairburn, a scary incident unfolded at the AT&MT store at the AT&MT store on Sonoya Road. Two men armed with a gun approached an employee leaving work. Get your ass they over forced there, her back inside demanding access to the safe. The employee had to sit still as the robbers filled a bag with phones and money. You better sit Fairburn still. Fairburn police are now searching for these culprits who got away with 47 phones and nearly $1,500. Oh. Anybody who's willing to point a that another human being is something we are very, very concerned about. Which again, we know is not a lot, not a lot to go on. Um, but you know, somebody usually knows something about uh, what's going on. There. She didn't try to fight back or try to do anything heroic. Uh, she followed their instructions, and uh, and that's exactly what we ask people to do. Uh, we don't want people, you know, trying to do anything heroic and and, and getting themselves hurt. Hell no. Thankfully, the employee. If I got that blick on me, and, and are you turn safe. around, it's over. AT&MT is offering a two thousand five hundred dollars reward My for information leading to their arrest. In June, after a fantastic night of dancing at a fancy BT Awards after party, Ooh. two dancers oh, yeah, had I a scary this. encounter. They were forced to give up $15,000 by someone with a gun. People on the internet guessed that one of the dancers might have been part of the plan. Now, Ace Notorious, one of the dancers, is talking about what happened for the first time. She said it felt like something from a movie. Right when she was about to buzz us in, that's when we heard some guy run up and he said, yo, so that's how I looked so startled. I looked and I'm like, what's going on? And then I don't even really think that in that moment I processed there was a to my face. And that situation is kind of like other girls would freak out and us, it was kind of just like, okay, no, it just felt fake. It just felt like a movie. So we ended up finding out afterwards that they followed us from the club and the landlord was very cooperative when it came to giving us footage. So they also got, you know, other people involved in so that's how we was able to find out through the club's cameras that we was followed. We're pretty girls, right? So I feel like Maya was trying to give like the cute card, like, can I please just get my passport? And I was like, can I just get my phone? That's really what it was. And people were like, oh, you guys were laughing. You guys were smiling. Like, well, what do you really do in a situation when you got to your face and you're getting your belongings taken from you? What do you do? I know Maya didn't do it. Maya knows she didn't do it. And that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, nah, nigga, guy that hopped ain't onto no. a big tractor and crashed right into a that store. Ain't you it was like, whoa, what's going on? Play with. Then the police came and took him away. And again, robbing anybody, bro, but you robbed two girls. Because you knew they were strippers and you knew they had money. That shit lame as hell. Can you believe it? No. What a wild ride. In the sunny OC, a daring and swift jewelry robbery unfolded. Four daring thieves made off with loads of sparkling jewels, and they even took away the owner's peace of mind. What scares me is is that if, if we don't um, find these men and, and put them behind bars, the next crime they commit will be uh, more heinous, more the people may be hurt. It's not about the money that was taken or what we lost. It it's. It's about the fear that they put into my parents. We're constantly looking behind our back now. The robbers vanished without a trace, leaving everyone wondering when they would be brought to justice. Just in sunny Florida, a 
a man with a wacky Snigger plan tried the... to rob a phone repair <laughs> store in Miami. This nigga he thought on he his could Metal hide Gear by... Solid shit. This nigga has a whole box on his head. What the fuck world is this? Wearing a box on his head, but oops. And this shit ain't got nothing to do with Walmart. At first, I was really... Um, when I received a call that somebody had broke in, I was really frustrated. But when I, you know, there was a laugh on my face when I saw the recording video of my surveillance. <laughs> I was able to recognize the the guide and then we're able to take a picture of from another day of surveillance. And I went around the businesses in the plaza and tell them, this is the guy. If you see him, just give me a call. So the fuck is on the his face. Here, um, they call me in. It was like, I, the guy is right here in the plaza. He was... Hang around the plaza the next day like nothing happened. When the police caught him, he got all teary-eyed and asked for his mom. Stupid. <laughs> he getting hit up by a girl, the Midlands, by a lady cop too. A gang too. of robbers went on a wild adventure, stealing cash machines from stores damn, and stations. Damn, what the fuck? Steal In the Midlands, a gang of robbers. Nigga, they didn't even leave the door open for it to come out. They just snapped. They didn't even move the shit out the way. They just drove that shit out the motherfucking. In the Midlands, a gang of robbers went on a wild adventure, stealing cash machines from stores what and stations. What the fuck? Fucked up everything to do that. Y'all niggas is idiots. Them niggas is stupid. They used cars to yank the machines out even daringly wheeled one past folks at a hospital. But the law caught up with them, and they're now locked away for over 30 years. A gang of sneaky robbers pulled up in their car, dashed into the store, swiped everything they could, and vanished into thin air. <laughs> no, they did it! Vanished into thin air. This nigga has sandals on come into robbery. Stepping on your toes, gang. <laughs> These niggas still vapes? What they steal? You coming back in? Get the fuck out. I'm not going back in that motherfucker once I'm out of there. The law hasn't caught up with them yet. It's like they're the masters of disappearing. <laughs> Late one Friday night, sneaky burglars broke into whole shot motocross. Sneaky, cool sneaky burglars. They're not sneaky thieves. They sliced through locks and metal like pros, then took off with five motorbikes, stuffing them into a big white van, making a speedy getaway. Get that shit up out of here, gang. Like, throw that shit, cuz. That shit up out of there. The fuck is up with this music? This fucking eerie ass. It's like they gotta set the dramatic tone. Like, this shit is annoying. We get it. They got away. Why are we still watching these niggas not do good at drop at stealing? Get that shit up on that parra. How many of us it is y'all? It's only two of y'all weird ass niggas. Guys, hope they get <laughs> still finding them. Police are still finding these guys. Hope they get caught <laughs> in Portland, Oregon. The police yeah, hey, nice the nigga. They hope, hope they get caught soon. Hey, nice nigga. Portland, nigga. Oregon. The police are on the hunt for two people who did something really bad. They tried to steal an ATM on November 29th from Fast Track Fuel Mart. I'm done with What's this. What's crazy nigga. is that the ATM caught fire in their car while they were trying to escape. It's like karma came back to bite them. We don't know if the police caught them yet. At a gas That's station crazy. store, someone walked away with an item right in front of everyone. The store boss decided to chase after this daring thief. But here's the twist. The video cuts off, leaving us all in suspense, wondering if the manager caught the culprit or not. After a night out, two people find themselves in a dangerous situation as they walk home. Two guys approached one with a weapon, demanding the victim's stuff. Quick police response allowed them to check security footage and identify a vehicle connected to the robbery. Multiple officers promptly responded, locating the vehicle at a gas station in the 600 block of Elliott Avenue West. I thought this was a mock video or like a 
Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Lay on the ground now. Lay. Don't grab the. Put your hands out. Don't move. The suspects tried to escape at high speed, leaving one behind. A short foot chase followed, leading to the arrest of one suspect with a weapon found during the apprehension. You understand me? Yes, Don't move. Yes, Put your hands by. Don't do it. She called that nigga yes, man. The diligent work of law enforcement resulted in the recovery of some of the victim's stolen belongings, which were returned to them on the spot. The victim said the caught person was the one with the weapon during the robbery. Even though they tried to run away, catching one person and returning the stolen stuff shows how much they care about keeping our community safe. There were two sneaky robbers who hatched a clever plan. They rolled up to the ATM in their trusty truck oh. and hooked a chain to the cash box. Red light. See, they fuck with that mechanism, I think, when it did that. Bah! Ooh. Ooh, yeah, because they got to get in them with boxes. With a mighty tug, they yanked the treasure from the machine, making their daring Ooh. escape with the loot. A group of robbers stormed into a store armed with That's dangerous weapons. That's it. That's weapons. all you need. They grabbed. I gotta watch that shit again. For educational purposes. <laughs> yeah, I got that motherfucker right open. The plate that be in front, cause I didn't see what it looked like inside of an ATM. So, and that's all you need. That's the box with, with the tug, money. They yanked the treasure from the machine, making their daring escape with the loot. Insanity. A group of robbers stormed into a store armed with dangerous weapons. They grabbed all man, the valuable be things the and guns vanished at the into shorties, thin air, man. leaving the store in shock and empty-handed. Some bitches will blow your ass down, though. But it's just like, man, you, man. These niggas got motorcycle helmets on, and you ain't gonna lift a visor, you fucking dummy. <laughs> They got the visor up. At the Callumvale Shopping Center, two sneaky thieves wearing burkas waved scary guns at a Another store. Another sneaky thief? What they the fuck is a burka? Time. They wanted shiny treasures. It's hard for any businesses to actually go through this. It's scary. It's really scary. It does show a lot of disrespect to one particular sector of the community. These bandits swiped over $100,000 in jewels and vanished, Damn. making everyone pretty mad. No one caught them yet. Why do you, this? In a bold move like a thrilling movie, robbers struck the Brent Cross shopping center. On These three motorcycles, got what? six suspects arrived, making a scene just after the mall opened. Three of them, armed with axes and bats, rushed into a jewelry store. Breaking you, glass to grab the precious items and escaped on their bikes. It was chaos, just like a Hollywood hike. <coughs> Sneaky robbers wearing masks stormed into a bike shop, swiping lots of bicycles, and then vanished without a trace. I'm not stealing no bikes. Where do you sell bikes online? On, 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 uh, I guess you could sell anything online now. Facebook market. Those place. bikes were gone in a flash, Damn leaving the store in shock and the robbers with their loot. In another shocking incident caught on camera, a thief boldly swiped a puppy from a pet store. The audacious guy strolled right in, snatched the French bulldog from its crate, and vanished out the front door. It has nothing to do with the pricing. Our puppies range from $3,000 up, but pricing is not even the consideration here. It's about trying to get our puppy back. The store's what? heartbroken stack is not, has nothing to do with the pricing. Our puppies range from $3,000 up, but pricing is not even the consideration here. It's about trying to get our puppy back. The Nigga. store's heartbroken staff considers all the puppies as family, and they're desperate to reunite with this little two-month-old Frenchie. How will y'all y'all sell it? They're on the hunt for the thief and the missing pup. They want that money. One day, some sneaky robbers wearing masks stormed into the at and t store. Bro, these they niggas aren't wearing masks. All right, all right, store. all right, all right, all right. See, who the fuck is the, the AI guy saying the shit now? Because one, the title 50 most daring. We've watched about 100. We're at 
it's been 55 minutes and I keep pausing and going back and this video is 56 minutes. We should be done with this video already. And then this, bruh, nothing happened in a Walmart yet. And I didn't know this shit was going to turn into a fucking heist movie. All we've seen are robberies. And these niggas don't have a mask on and he clearly says, this shit is, this shit is annoying. One day, some sneaky robbers wearing masks stormed into the AT&M store. One store. day. They grabbed everything they could get their hands on. These niggas don't even have masks. They grabbed everything they can get their hands on. Watch them niggas not get nothing. Hey, what's going on, man? How can I help you? You about to do some weird shit in front of the nigga? In front of the nigga? Y'all ain't got no phones? Yeah, man. Can you go in the back real quick? Bro, what? Over the weekend, in Christchurch, a big gang tried to rob a vape shop, and it was all recorded on camera. A vape shop? Y'all just want unlimited vapes? There's no way y'all niggas want unlimited vapes. There's no way so y'all could just smoke the whole day. They smashed into the shop and took a lot of stuff, causing the shop to lose a lot of money. Then, they quickly ran away. Last weekend, a thief broke into a fancy Last weekend? <laughs> <Willowbrook> <laughs> nigga, how do you know? This nigga don't know shit. Why we got the lady face cut blurred out and not the robber dude? Ooh. Oh, he pulled out that obligatory. Bitch, back up. He pulled out that yami. You know mean? Give me that shit. Open it up. Let me get that. They the cops you. want help to find this sneaky fellow who managed to escape all by himself. Niggas not very Five sneaky. out of the six super fast Dodge Challenger Hellcats were found in different places nearby in Tennessee and Alabama. The police are on the hunt for the last missing one. Some bold crooks waltzed into the showroom oh, the and swiped plates. the flashy sports car. Why are y'all ducking? Start up at one time. Right off the flow. They said, man, give me these motherfuckers. Where y'all going with them motherfuckers? There's somebody out there. Gone. Adderall. These niggas stealing these cars is crazy, though. This, that's like stealing them ATMs, man. Them cars and everything else, because you know, chop shops, you can go. You flip that motherfucker, me car. We don't know if they've been nabbed yet. One day, some sneaky crooks smashed shop windows and zoomed <laughs> One day. off with shiny motorcycles. But we just knew it was last weekend. This nigga's an idiot. That's a whole female. You can tell by the how the way the bitch holding the rock, how that bitch a bit. That's a whole female. Bitch trying to. <laughs> they boldly swipe the bikes, and guess what? They're still on the loose. Not a handcuff in that sight. That bike big as fuck for that whoever. One that dark was. night. Sneaky robbers snuck into the shiny jewelry store. One dark They night. smashed and shattered everything inside, all to get their greedy hands on the sparkling jewels. Oh god, that's just loud and smoky in there. And you be so scared. You don't even get nothing. Like, what, nigga? Where's the rip, man? What? I need the money. This nigga just broke it and didn't do nothing. That motherfucker. Boy, that motherfucker did turn it around. He's like, oh, 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 shit. Fuck it. Let me get some more. I ain't got enough. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bruh. In Crawley, the cops are on a mission 
to find three sneaky guys involved in a big supermarket I'm heist. I'm tired of niggas being Last sneaky, Last Thursday, bro. on December 29th, between 2.45 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they swiped a bunch of fancy phones worth about 10,000 pounds. Y'all yeah, niggas weak as fuck. Oh, y'all had a long way to go. Oh, they. In what this video, the fuck? a robber with a knife sneaks into the store and threatens the store owner. Sneaks in or just walks in? How do you sneak into the store? That's a whole bitch. Cierra la persiana. To get robbed by a lady. Cierra la. Cierra la ya. Okay, okay, okay. Tranquilo. Cierra la ya. Cierra la ya. Cierra la ya. I'm not fucking with that crazy bitch, bro. No, 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 no. Eh, que te clavo el cuchillo. No me dejo el cuchillo. Que te clavo el cuchillo. Te mato, eh. Cierra la persiana. I'll bust you in the head with this motherfucker, sorry. I'll bust your ass with this motherfucker. Hit her with that part. Bad, use that part. You can hit her with the... Bah! I've seen enough. I've seen. I've seen enough action movies. So when she do like this, you do like this. <laughs> you get her arm in there, and then you do to the left. And you give a hard twist to the right, or you go to the right. Wah! And then that's the knife's gonna go flying. And then you'll have like 20 seconds to hop over the counter and beat that bitch with it. Or you could just like sit it on her, hit her in the head with it, bam. And then sit it on like her, like she'll be trapped in it, right? You want her to be trapped in it. So then you sit on it till the cops come. <laughs> bro, I'm not fucking with this lady with a knife, bro. Sí, sí, se o sea, que baja todo eso. Put it down. Baja put it down. Porque tú me vas a dar un new, golpe, pero yo te voy a matar. Mira, <laughs> cuchillo, bájalo. Arturo, that bitch. Ba bien, Wrong bro. end, bro. You're trying to hit her with the softest part. You can't even cuchillo. hold that motherfucker. Eh. Te mato. Tú me das un golpe, pero yo te mato. Bro, eh. hit her with the te other mato, part, eh. nigga. Te lo juro que me das un golpe. Pero he yo can't te even hold that motherfucker up, bro. He's so whack. Dame lo que tengas en la caja y me largo. No me vengas, vale. Vale. Idiot. Vale. Idiot. Eh, eh, eh. Boy, she punking you right now. See, now that's the part you should have been hitting that bitch with. Back up. Bink, 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 bink. Te lo he dicho. Deja eso. This nigga ain't never been in there. This nigga ain't never, this nigga ain't never been in no issue. Mira. He weird. Me voy porque me voy porque me están dando ataque de ansiedad. Why are you holding it like that? In a surprising turn of events, regular shoppers at a store in Burton found themselves witnessing a strange daytime robbery. Hooded bandits were caught on camera loading up their carts with booze and making a quick getaway. Damn, but then you still a liquor? brave customer decided to go after them. Hi, be proud, guys. Hi, be proud, guys. Hey. You, you just knew, you know, who comes in covered up, masks, and you know, you can only just see the eyes running in with trolleys. They, they were like <coughs> running with trolleys, almost jo jogging into the store with the trolleys. They were just pushing anyone, like, if you were in the way with the trolleys, they were just gonna ram you. They weren't very smart criminals at all. Um, <laughs> young, yeah, <laughs> just desperate. There's this guy who's not exactly the smoothest character. Clearly. And he got caught on camera sneaking into a pub and grabbing everything he could find. The funny part? He got stuck inside once he made his way in. Fucking when dumbass. The got here, all I could hear was cries from inside, let me out, let me out. In a Virginia house, a camera captured two bad guys making an elderly couple hide in a linen closet. Oh, no, the that's Portsmouth crazy. police folks are on the hunt for these troublemakers. 25-year-old Mitchell Boney Jr. That's and 22-year-old Tyree DeMont Boney Jr. Watch out. Detectives are on their trail. Y'all lame as hell for that. 
Y'all don't fuck with no old people, bro. People in general, bro, but like, come on, man. You stealing from something versus someone and doing this shit to somebody, that could be your grandparents, bro. And you're gonna be ready to you gonna be ready to act a fool about it. But you're gonna do this to somebody's grandparents, nigga. That's crazy, bro. These niggas ain't shit. I hope they get their ass put in jail. Sneaky thieves sneaked into the Apple store and swiped a bunch of shiny phones. The poor store folks were left stunned. Their eyes what? glued to Why? the shelves. Why do niggas still do this though? Do those phones work? What well, I'm 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 convinced they're not gonna be able to do anything with those phones. I don't I don't I don't The robbers vanished into thin air. These leaving niggas, everyone these in niggas. disbelief. In a shopping center, three guys decide to cause trouble and heartbreak. They start by trying a side entrance, but that doesn't work out. No biggie for them, though. They quickly switch to plan B and dash to the front of the store. These guys are on a mission, and they force open the main entrance, barging in like they own the place. They hit two stores, leaving a small business owner crushed. The first two crooks do their thing, they but still, the third one has a specific target in mind. I must have blanked they go out. All out. Where are they? Kicking and tearing through the store, grabbing thousands of dollars worth of cigarettes. Did that the nigga knock the shit work, down? Grabbing thousands of dollars worth of cigarettes. Ah, uh, he ain't even have to do that. A small business owner crushed. That nigga's a buster. The first two crooks do their thing, but the third one has a specific target in mind. They go all out, kicking and tearing through the store. Grabbing thousands of dollars worth of cigarettes. That nigga's a the bitch. The spree doesn't for stop that. there. Joe Vitagliano's news agency is the next unlucky spot. The thieves snatch five thousand dollars in cash and something irreplaceable. Joe's dream of keeping the family business alive. I'm that f***ed off, you know. Um, I just don't feel like coming here anymore. That's it. Full stop. That is the last straw. It, it, it has. Look, I've been doing this now for 45 years, and this is the first time that I've ever been broken into. The plastic doors of the shops were pried open like they really wanted something. The impact of their actions makes Joe think about selling the business he hoped to pass down. This spree, full of destruction and sorrow, shows how vulnerable small businesses are to yeah, these criminal man. acts. While the stolen stuff can be replaced, the damage to the spirit of business owners leaves lasting scars. Crazy. In Roxborough Park, Melbourne, sneaky robbers snatched a whopping $120,000 in cash and loads of cigarettes from a tobacco shop. Surprisingly, they managed to escape without getting caught, even though there were lots of security. <laughs> They're very scared, found the two big box. All the food, of cash, and the uh, cigarettes remove the my shop. We have the six box, big box, but now left only the four box. What can I do? <laughs> so crazy. Those <laughs> bitch off what? A daring heist. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw. Make sure you subscribe and I'm hit not the fucking with you, creep. So you I'm not fucking with you, man. Videos. You lied to me, and I'm not fucking with Ohio, you. Brave police got a call about a bank alarm. They rushed there, and guess what? They discovered a sneaky bank robber hiding in the ceiling. But that's not all. As they were checking things out, they heard strange sounds by the drive-through, and then, out of the blue, a 27-year-old guy named Tristan Heidel plopped down from the roof and landed in a recycling bin. Oh, this is the video from the beginning. What a blicked his ass. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> nine, nine, five, come over the drive-through. I just had to stay up there for a little while, bro, and just, this nigga's doing too much. Sick of doing too much. Like, I hear it, but.
Did he get up there using that? Because that recycling bin ain't supposed to be there. So I'm assuming he used that to get up in that motherfucker. <laughs> I hope this nigga got the money. Mm. Don't even want to say nothing. Wait for that nigga to come out. Get the fuck out. Get, get the... Nigga, you turn your shit down. Bad cop business. Bitch, turn it down. That nigga ain't got no money. I hope he got money at least, but it's going back. But at least I hope he like... Get out. Get out. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They uh. nabbed him for breaking into the bank, having criminal tools, and trying to crack a safe. Thank you so much. So I don't think he succeeded, but man, was that shit okay. <laughs> I'm still not fucking with this nigga's channel, man. He, this nigga's tripping, bro. Uh, hit that splash button, man. I mean, splash the like button. Dude, we gonna find something else. I might split this up into two videos. This shit was an hour long. Didn't know it was gonna be that. I was thinking niggas was gonna be doing some crazy shit. A couple of fights, a couple of... I don't... Yeah, man, I don't know.